Hey guys, Lethal Leslie here, and today I'm going to bring you five quick tips to make your Red Dead life easier. Now, these are tips I've learned from the start of the game up till now, and a lot of them have been given to me by people in the comment sections of my videos, helping out a lot of great tips off people in the community, which has been absolutely great. And let's get straight into it. So the first one is the fact that you can actually hold triangle on the spot to just crouch and craft. So many people don't actually know that you can just hold triangle to crouch and craft, and they're always setting up campfires when they don't need to. You can actually just craft on the spot and make something right there and then. So that is tip number one of five. Tip number two of five is about bait. So when it, co when it comes to crafting, you want to go over to hunting and you have these two baits right here. You have potent predator bait and potent herbivore bait. Now a lot of people just use the normal predator bait and the normal herbivore bait as their two options when it comes to trying to drop bait to find these hard to find animals. But in fact, you have two better options right here that give you a much better chance of getting the animals you're looking for. So the potent predator bait and the potent herbivore bait is here to craft and you like you do need to get some fish. You will need to go fishing and find the gritty fish to go ahead and make yourself um, the predator bait and there are a few herbs that you need to find that are scattered around to find the herbivore bait. But if you are struggling to find certain animals, go ahead and craft yourself some of that bait and you're going to have yourself a better chance of getting these turf animals. That's definitely one that's been given to me by the comment section of my videos as well. So thank you guys for that. Next up, we're going to go to number three and we're going to be talking about your sniper rifle. So let me go and get my sniper rifle off my horse and you can actually use your sniper rifles without aiming down sight. This is another one, again, that a lot of my comment section helped me out with. Um, one I did not know about so much and then the comment section kept saying you don't like you know This is something you can actually do to make it a lot easier. So obviously when you aim down sight, you're gonna have the um, Circle come up that's blacked out, but if you double click the center It's gonna go gray as you can see it's white Let me get off it for a second and let me just so go back so you can see it's white in the middle right now if you double click it will go grey and then when you pull off aim then it will not aim down sight again for you. So you can walk around if you're hunting a predator and you can aim and you're not going to have to aim down sight. Which means you can get hold of certain predators a lot easier without them being able to blindside you when you're aiming down sight. And then just double click off it again and it will let you obviously aim down sight again or change weapon or something like that. It'll always be back to its neutral. So double click it when you're on it and come off and you'll see you'll be able to use the gun without aiming down sight. A really, really good tip, I thought. So I wanted to share it with you guys there. So that's three of them out of the way. We have two more and the next one involves being on our horse. So let me jump on the horse. I'll see about tip number four. And this is one like, I just think it is one that's so underused on the game and that is pressing the R3 button or the um, left analog when running on your horse. So if you press the left analog on your horse, I don't know if you know, but it will actually give you a boost to your like horses. Um, what's it like? The bonding on your horse. That's what I'm talking about. And not only that, after every like so often, where every time it gives you a boost, if you get the horse bonding up to a certain amount, it'll actually boost your stamina, which makes it so much easier to get around the map. So as you can see, let's see if we can have a test here where we run for maybe 20, 30 seconds, then use it. And hopefully it will give us a bit of stamina as well. So let's try it now. There you go. You can see it gave us the stamina there as well. And I haven't even got the full stamina boost. You can actually get it so it gives you more stamina every time you press the left analog stick in or R3 on PlayStation is what it is. So, you know, that's another really good tip there that you can use on the daily just when running around. And it means that you're going like, to have to stop less to give your horse like a rest or you know you're gonna have to give your horse less of your um, what's it called potions and stuff like that to get that stamina up just a really good tip to help you with your horse in that respect and the last one involves going to the general store so let's get there now and when i say general store i actually mean the general gun store so you go to go to the gun store and go to customize your weapons now here it gives you the option to actually stick weapons on your body all the time and this is something that's a real pain in the butt i would say on this game in that you jump off your horse you go a certain distance away from your horse and all of a sudden you do not have the weapon on your like shoulder so you like for instance say you're going hunting and you want the vermin rifle you go ahead and you equip to shoulder and that will be on your shoulder if you want the bolt action rifle with you you're going to equip that to your shoulder you can only have a certain amount of course my favorites to have is probably 
the where is it the bolt action rifle as you can see it's already equipped to my shoulder and that's probably my favorite one to bring with me on my shoulder is the bolt action rifle but same goes for this pistol this is definitely my favorite pistol i i want to stick that as my preferred sidearm and there's another one that i really like as well uh what shotgun is it it's the rare shotgun but some of them don't show up like for instance my rare shotgun doesn't show up here which is a shame but you can sort it out with a few of them and that's just an extra little tip to save you having to go back to your horse all the time or save you getting into a mission without your favorite weapon with you so they're the five tips i have for you today let me know if you knew all of them guys in the comment section down below i'm hoping that this is going to be helpful for most people in the ways of at least one tip um, but you know, some people probably know all of them because some people do are uh, quite clued up in the game. But hopefully, it helps a lot of you guys with one of the two of the tips in there. And I'm sure some of you guys will have known them all. Anyway, I'm going to leave that video there. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, as always, and take it easy.